Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've been running an e-commerce business for over a month, you've been running the same product and you still haven't done any retargeting, you're losing money. The immediate consequence of this is that you don't really know what the real return on ad spend for your product can be because you're only focusing on the top of the funnel. And now you might be wondering, what does retargeting even mean? And how does that work with Facebook ads? Retargeting means showing your ads to the most profitable traffic that you can have, which are warm and hot audiences. This is opposed to cold traffic, which is people who have never heard about your business before. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use custom audiences in your Facebook ads to create your retargeting campaigns and bring in all the profit from your best audiences, which are customers who already know who you are and what your offer is. So retargeting means showing your ads to people who have already interacted with your business. This is different from the top of funnel traffic, your cold traffic, which is people who have never heard about you before. When you're using interest targeting campaigns on Facebook, your prospect for new potential customers who have never heard about your business. Now it's time to bring back all those people who did interact with your business but left without buying. Let's jump into the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So if you're in your ads manager here, you want to click the menu at the top and head over to the audiences section. If we want to show our ads to a specific group of people who have already interacted with your business or our website in some way, we cannot use interests as targeting. This is where custom audiences come in. Custom audiences are audiences that you can generate on Facebook to include people who have performed particularly valuable actions on your website or social media. I'm going to start by creating a custom audience that will include all our website visitors so we can later use it as a targeting option. So we can click create audience here and we can click custom audience. We're going to use website as a source and we're going to use an example, which is going to be an audience that includes all our website visitors. So first off, it's going to ask you the source. We're going to select the pixel that we want to use as the source of information for the custom audience that we're going to make. After that, it asks you for the event. In this case, we're going to select all website visitors. But as I said, you can use any valuable event that happened on your website. And then we're going to select the retention window. The retention window means how long people will stay in this audience after they perform this particular event. In this case, if we select 30 days, it means that we're going to create an audience that includes all of our website visitors for the last 30 days. By the way, these audiences dynamically update, which means that on day 31, they will stop including people from that day to include people from day one. So your last 30 days worth of traffic will always be included in that audience. In this case, all our website visitors. In this case though, we're going to select all website visitors for 90 days. So we're gonna enter 90 days here. After that, we're going to name our audience something that is really easy to recognize. So we're going to say all website visitors 90 days and we're going to create the audience. Now, remember to always give Facebook time to populate your custom audiences. Facebook needs to look for people that have performed this action within the window of time that you set. So I wouldn't recommend starting to use your custom audience the same day that you create your campaign. Wait at least one day when you create a custom audience before you start running a campaign that utilizes that same custom audience. Now, there's a few more audiences that you'll need to create for this campaign. I'm going to bring them up on the next screen. So just pause the video and note down all the custom audiences that you'll need to create for your retargeting campaign. Now that we have our custom audiences and we've given them a day to populate, we're ready to set up our retargeting campaign. Let's head over to the ads manager and let's start making our new campaign. So once we're in the ads manager, we're going to click create a new campaign. We're going to select conversions. We're going to click continue. This one is going to be the retargeting campaign for middle of funnel. We're going to have two retargeting campaigns, one for middle of funnel and one for bottom of funnel. The middle of funnel campaign includes people who have interacted with your ads and social media, but did not click to the website. Your website visitors, which are your highest quality traffic, will be part of your bottom of funnel traffic. The first ad set in the middle of funnel campaign will be our three second video view custom audience. So we're going to select the ad set here. And we're going to name this three second video view because it's going to be the first ad set in our middle of funnel campaign. Then we're going to set up the pixel. We're going to set up the budget. Don't worry about the budget just yet because it's going to be a CBO campaign. We're not going to set the budget at the ad set level. We're going to set up the budget at the campaign level. But don't worry about that. That's coming up next when I tell you about the whole campaign structure. 
Then we're going to set up the date. Remember, we want always to set the date to next midnight because we want to run the ad sets in 24 hour cycles. Keep going. Now, this is important here. We do not set locations here. We just set it to worldwide. We just go here, set worldwide select worldwide. The reason for this is that you don't want to limit your retargeting to a particular region. Remember that people that are in your retargeting custom audiences have already come in through the top of the funnel. So at the top of the funnel, you're choosing to only advertise to your best regions. And if they came in through the top of your funnel, then they came in only through those regions and you don't need to restrict by region in your retargeting. Moving on from the locations, we're going to set the ages and the genders. We're going to leave them broad again for the same reason. We don't want to do anything restricted that the retargeting level in terms of demographics and locations we do that at the top of the funnel so in your cold traffic campaigns then we're going to use automatic placements and we move on to set the other ad sets and the other campaign remember we're going to have two campaigns one for the middle of funnel and one for the bottom of funnel i'm now going to show you the entire campaign structure so you can replicate it yourself in your ads manager so here's the campaign structure that you want to use for your retargeting strategy. Two campaigns, one from middle of funnel and one from bottom of funnel. Both CBO campaigns spending 10% of your total spend for that product. This is very important to keep in mind. Remember that these campaigns are not prospecting for new customers. They're only showing ads to a restricted group of people that have already performed valuable actions in your funnel. This means that you can only scale these campaigns as much as you can scale your cold traffic or else you end up showing your ads over and over to the same people. That's the reason why I recommend that you set these two CBOs at 10% of your top of funnel spend for that product. Now for the ad sets inside of the middle of funnel campaign, we have three ad sets, one ad sets for three second video views, custom audience, one for the Facebook engagement, custom audience, and one for the Instagram engagement, custom audience. Each of these ad sets should have all website visitors, 90 days, custom audience as an exclusion, and then enter the custom audience that you want to exclude in that exclusions box for the bottom of funnel campaign we want to have two ad sets one website visitors 60 days and another one for add to cart initiate checkout and add payment info 60 days this last ad set is the only one where we're stacking three custom audiences in one ad set Keep in mind that for the website visitors ad set, you need to exclude the same custom audiences that you include in the other bottom of funnel ad sets. And in the final ad set, you need to exclude purchases 90 days. We do this because we want to split the lowest value part and the highest value part of your bottom of funnel traffic. By splitting these two different ad sets, we're making it easier for Facebook to optimize this campaign when it directs the budget to each separate ad set, prioritizing whichever one is doing the best. Now, the last thing that you need to do is, of course, insert your creatives in each of these ad sets. I recommend that you use anything between five and 10 creatives for your retargeting audiences. You can use the same or different creatives for both campaigns. This is where different retargeting strategies can be applied. You may choose to give your retargeting audiences a discount code, or you may choose to give a discount code only to your middle of funnel and use video testimonials for your bottom of funnel to increase trust and just try and get them over the line and complete their purchase. That being said, your creativity is the limit here. There are multiple retargeting content strategies that you can implement. Now you know how to implement effective retargeting and recover all the money that's been lost to customers who were just about to buy into your offer, but left somewhere along the road before completing their purchase. I hope this video helps you improve your results with Facebook ads. And if you're looking for more content on Facebook ads, make sure to check out my Facebook ads playlist with all sorts of different Facebook ads tutorials. Also, if this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like as it does help the channel. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.